Down to the underground and toured with our homeboys, Curse the Veil in Mexico. Alright, so we got a bunch of questions on this, and I know you guys get it a lot. How'd you guys come up with the name? Uh, we got the name from um, our guitarist's mother was reading the book. We thought it was a catchy name, and then we, after we named it that, we realized it was a terrible book because I read the book. And then the book became a bestseller in a movie, which kind of sucked. <laughs> That's the story of the day. So how was the tour in Mexico with Chris today? Actually got canceled. It did? <laughs> we, have, we have done a little bit of touring with them, so we do know those dudes, but the Mexico tour got canceled. Oh man, we didn't even hear that. Damn you, Vic. <laughs> Give me a call. Okay, how does Sounds of the Underground go? Uh, it's pretty good. There was uh, it's a metal tour, and some people uh, weren't very accepting. They're not super uh, traditional, but we had some, a lot of good times, and we ended up doing pretty well. That's nice to hear. You guys uh, put out your last record in August. We had a title of uh, "You Can't Spell Crap Without C." Yeah. Is there a reason behind that title? Absolutely no. There's no meaning between any of our songs. Don't have any meaning at all. So some people try to give them name or like metaphors or whatever, but there's none. Like the only the reason we named it that is because it's usually you can't spell crap without C or without rap. Yeah. So we just switched it. <laughs> that's all. That's the only reason it was named. Okay, so it wasn't because of Craig. No. <laughs> okay. Longers you're wrong. <laughs> so how's this one tour been going so far? It's been good. Um, it's been about two weeks, and there's still many weeks left. But uh, it's not so there. How are the kids responding to you so far, as far as the live shows go? Uh, awesome. Like there's been a, there were two shows that kind of sucked as far as. Simply the fact that the crowd didn't go nuts for anybody. But uh, it's, if it's a fun crowd, they seem to enjoy it a lot. So. It's an expensive car. In Vegas, baby. <laughs> so, as far as people wanting to get into, what would you recommend them picking up one of your albums or catching a live show? Uh, we're more of a live band than a studio band. Although, obviously, we to support our record sales and everything. But I don't know, I think we try to... Um, I don't know, try to make ourselves live band primarily. So. That's good to hear. With the downloading of your new record and all that, people are doing it illegally. What would you say to those fans? I've always, before I, years before I joined the band and before uh, downloading, even when downloading started, I've never, I've never owned a downloading program on my computer. Like, I've never downloaded anything. And, like, I'm so proud of my CD collection because I buy every record I want. I have my shelves of CDs. And, like, I don't know. I'm, there's nothing I can say to make people stop downloading. But I think it's. Music isn't about downloading, you know? Music's about buying a record and seeing an album and stuff like that. And you guys put out some fantastic covers for the record. Thank you. I gotta say, when the album dropped, I thought it was really cool that Best Buy actually had you guys in the very front on that Tuesday, and I was like, yes! Yeah. Finally! Good luck, pal. That was mostly the, uh, the record label. Our last record sold well, so Best Buy was stoked on purchasing many of the new ones and stuff, so it's awesome. Alright, so I can see you're kind of exhausted from doing your live show. Um, we're just going to wrap it up with the years coming to an end. So anything you can let fans and you internet bloggers know what's going on? Um, 
mostly just uh, lots of good stuff coming next year. Um, we uh, big summer tour, not Sounds of the Underground, but uh, we have plans. We have everything basically laid out. And it's all going to be awesome, and uh, it's supposed to be a good time as far as what we're planning on. So next. Year.